Hey, how's it going everybody? Burr Brian here and today's beer review is dedicated to all of you out there who love that sweet, sweet ganja. So, come along and catch a buzz with me. So when it comes to marijuana, the origins of the term 420 is a subject that's been debated for many years. Now, for a while, I honestly thought that it was just a cop code for a smoke session in progress, but it turns out there's much more to it than that. You see, in 1971, there was a group of guys calling themselves the Waldos that would meet in front of their school at precisely 420 every day, armed with a treasure map, hoping to find a mysterious garden full of sweet, sweet marijuana. They never actually found that sweet garden of cannabis, but the time that they met every day, that 420 time, became a symbol for all marijuana smokers throughout the years. It's become sort of known as the universal time to smoke or the universal smoke out day. This beer pays tribute to the Waldos and all treasure hunters alike, and this one's from Lagunitas Brewing Company out of their 2016 one-hitter series, and we're looking at the Waldos Special Ale. All of their beers generally have nice simple label designs, clean, crisp, and clear. Before we uh, pop the top and get into the aroma and the flavor of this one, let me give you just a little bit of background information. This beer comes in at 11.5%, so we're definitely going to catch a really good buzz. It's over 100 on the IBU, so you know me, I love my hoppy bitter beers. It was first introduced in 2011, and uh, it becomes available every year around 420. Uh, I actually had saw this in the store, a very reasonable price. It was only, I think, uh, $10.50 or, or $10.99 for a six-pack. And for 11.5% beer, to get that kind of alcohol content uh, in a six-pack for that price is really, really good. It says that this is uh, uh, paired good with uh, Beer Batter Twinkies Con Queso. If you want to know more about that, you can Google Waldo 420. All right, so let's go ahead and delve into this very awesome beer here. Pop the top. And we'll see what we've got on the pour. has the uh, characteristics of an IPA. I would say it's got a, a dark bronze kind of color to it. Um, I, at first, I kind of thought that it might be transparent like completely, but the more I look into it, I do see little specks of particles, more than likely from uh, yeast. And uh, just in general, really nice looking beer. It's got about one finger of head on it. As for the aroma, oh yeah. It's a very dank, resiny beer, that's for sure. I'm really getting a, a strong, uh, just, I, mean, I want to say a hoppy aroma to it, but again, it's a very, very dank, resiny. That's what I'm getting is like a hop resin kind of a aroma to a really strong, pungent beer. Go ahead and give this one a taste. Oh, yeah. And that's exactly what it is. The flavor... Uh, most definitely matches the aroma on this one. It's got, again, just uh, a very strong, uh, most definitely a bitter flavor. The mouthfeel is la uh, rather thick, and just in general, I mean, it is a very piney, resiny beer. Again, as I, I described in the aroma, the taste is, is very similar. It matches. If you're a fan of, of Imperial IPAs, the uh, stronger, bitter beers, this is definitely going to be one you're, you're going to love. If you're not a fan of these kind of beers, you're going to hate it. It's, it's kind of going to be one of those situations. It'll be a love or hate thing for you. Uh, to me, again, I'm, you guys know if you've watched my channel for a while, I'm a huge fan of these heavy-handed IPAs uh, or of le these kinds of heavy hopped beers, and that's exactly what this one is. It's an absolutely um, delicious beer. Let me give it one more crack here. Beautiful beer all around. But you guys know my opinion can always change, so I'm going to sit back, relax, Sip and enjoy this beautiful beer right here, and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts at the last drop. And here we are at the last gulp, and like always, this one's for all of you, so salud. Yeah, man. You know, I don't know why, I mean, I, I think... 
some people can relate, uh, or I had a Canadian friend tell me that bitter is supposed to kind of be poison to us. We're supposed to notice as, as that, but uh, obviously those of us in the craft beer world who really enjoy our IPAs, especially these kind of heavy, dark, resinous ones, uh, you know, we'll tell you, I mean, it's just a beautiful flavor, and, and maybe it's because I've gotten used to eating poisons, and I don't know, but this is a really good beer. It's definitely not something that I would take to the beach on a really hot day or sitting around the lake or a campfire or anything unless it's really cold outside. Um, it's definitely one of those beers that's very thick, it's filling, it's a heavy beer, and it's 11.5% so it's going to warm you right up. It's so much alcohol content, it really gets you going. Um, you know, uh, definitely this has become one of my favorite beers and I really wish I would have grabbed more of this. I got the one six pack down and then as I was contemplating what else I should get that day, uh, this girl walked over and grabbed the two, the last two remaining six packs and was looking for any more in there. And so I can't believe I, I missed out. I should have grabbed so many more of these because, again, for the price, it's a really awesome beer. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, if you'd like to follow me, on, uh, I'm on a, a various assortment of social media networking sites. And there'll be links down below in the description somewhere. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, stay toasty, my friends. Mm -hmm.